Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Abang Goreng. <laughs> Today, we're going to do a breakfast special in it. So, we have a, a oriental spread that we feel that, oh, this is one of the rare few times that the Abangs are awake in the morning. So, we have uh, different kinds of cuisines from all the races and different types of breakfast and seeing like, what do we usually eat for breakfast. Okay, so we'll be starting off with the most notable breakfast that all the Indians eat. You eat this for breakfast? I, I don't eat this for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> My breakfast cannot colonize raw. I eat Western food. <laughs> I eat Western food. Western you eat my breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> you eat a bread and jam. Yeah, or bread or and jam. Marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> yeah, but okay, like the most, like when you think about Indian breakfast, the first thing that comes to our mind is. Roti Prata. So as you can see, this Roti Prata is from RK House. We have decided to give it a second chance and we have ordered Prata from them because they are very well known for their Pratas. So we got the standard Telo and Kosong. Actually, how do you guys eat your Prata? The mouth <laughs> one. <laughs> With hands actually. Morning wake up, morning. don't angry. <laughs> oh, morning person at all. <laughs> okay, there's, uh, there's a lot of like, uh, that's a very fair point because there's a lot of dispute on like, what's the proper way to eat Prata. Yeah. So what was yours? I'll eat prata on its own, then I'll drink the curry. For me, it's the best way to eat prata will just be on its own because it's like hot and hot, hot and hot. Hot ah. and hot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and you dip it into the dalcha in the morning. Afi? I don't know, I don't take dalcha, but mine would probably be fish curry or chicken curry or mutton curry. I remember got one point where it was a mixer like uh, they call this uh, roti chanai. Then we call roti chanai the roti kirai. Yeah, yes. the yellow so color. Yeah, so it's basically it's like topping. I was ignorant about the effect, so I went in one day to Malaysia as like one roti prata. And I don't know like, where it got lost in the translation, I got roti planta. <laughs> Alright, so for this uh, particular episode, we are not going to rate the particular dish or the particular restaurant. Let's say in the morning, we wake up. Would this particular dish excite us or do we look forward to eating this for breakfast mm. to empower us for the rest of the day? <laughs> to empower us! <laughs> so, uh, for this particular, for Prata, would you look forward to eating Prata in the morning? Yeah, I would. Definitely, I would. I think we can all agree that Prata is a very easy dish in the morning, you know. Can you guys hear the thunder? Yeah. Right, like, mm. uh, like, like that. See, uh, this is what happens, right, on a weekend or weekday or rather your off day. Uh. Then people start doing renovation on top. This is what happens. So, you know, we just want to bring the full experience to you guys. <laughs> okay, so I guess you'll be moving on to the next dish. Which is what? Pihun! Pihun! So, over here we have a classic. Bihun, cooked with uh, soy sauce and whatever other sauce. We have chicken wings, we have hash brown, we got eggs, we got a hot dog for you. This is quite a spread for Bihun. Eh? It's really heavy spread. <laughs> no, it's, it's because I upsize everything. Okay. Uh, this cost me about 5 bucks, oh, which is quite cheap. Eh? I, I got this from a Chala store near my house, so no worries about that guys. And uh, this is more interchangeably between uh, like bihun and nasi lemak. Obviously, there's like other things such as uh, mi or kuei tiao, but I just personally prefer bihun. Nah. But I also noticed that Chinese bihun and Malay bihun there's is two different uh, presentation. Because one is white. Like, oh, they're me birthday, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, birthday. like those kind you see uh, when when we all have like a sort of family gathering. Like, yeah. Our wall be white color one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> then they just thumb all the 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 food. Then the egg top. Yeah, they, right. they, they have the white one, oh, yeah. but the white one got sayo. I know oh, you don't like sayo. Oh, 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 but this one got sayo with tauge, bro. Yeah. This one got tauge. Yeah. This one got tauge. As in, like, usually that, that's why I kind of stray away from bihun because, like, wow, the, every time I go like ananas mm. or wherever to buy the bihun, there's always like thin tauge that is in the. You don't know, you don't know. Okay, the, it doesn't affect it, but just me knowing it there is just like kills my appetite. Yeah, I think I overall enjoy the experience of eating bihun in the morning, like as of now. Because typically this is a very Chinese dish, right? Hey, what's going on there? <laughs> My tail is stuck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the fact that this bihun can be eaten with anything, like you see you can throw eggs, processed food and whatnot. Processed food eh! How not processed food? For $5, right, it's definitely affordable. Uh. Like before I go to work, I can just buy this. Next up! <laughs> We have the kacang pool. Alright, so kacang pool is a very traditional and uh, heritage dish in the Malay community. Uh, its origins date back to all the way to Egypt, 
uh, where it's actually a national breakfast dish called Manamas. Its popularity spreads down to Malaysia and now to Singapore where the Malay community has adopted it as you know, our breakfast food. So, uh, a lot of the younger crowds are not very familiar with kacang pool. Uh, as even in the Malay community because it's more of a traditional like it's more like older people usually eat it. You can find this in Geylang and in Bedo and Yunos, but the one we got today is from Warung Nyai Rose from Bedo. Okay, so if you take a look a close up to, to this kacang pool, okay, if I take a very big spoonful right, you can see it's very gooey, creamy. Not only that, it's actually very lemaky also, okay? And if I were to scoop it out and let it flow down, you can see there's a chock full of beans, which is very interesting and I can't wait to taste this. And at, at the side, you can see that it, it is also filled with eggs and sadly, there are, there are chili inside, so I'm going to try my best to avoid it. Hopefully, it has not contaminated my kacang pool. Okay, the best way to eat it, how approach. Okay, so it's usually eaten with uh, bread. And the bread of choice is usually um, roti pranches. Yeah, actually for roti pranches, right? Because they have a very hard, like outside skin. When you dip it in, right, the the white part will get absorbed. So yeah. like uh, all the gravy will be absorbed with the white part, and then you still have like a hard plate of salt. Mm. So it gives you a very nice balance of texture as well. Yeah. So this kacang pool, it is a very nice. And hopefully, since we have told you guys where to go and find where this kacang pool is, uh, <laughs> please go and try. <laughs> please go and try. <laughs> I do miss in this. <laughs> okay, since we were at Bedok, now let's head down all the way using the train to. <laughs> Not leave, uh, head down. Uh. <laughs> head, down uh. head down all the way to Bule Power Nasi Lemak. Okay, so basically, Nasi Lemak is a very simple dish that everybody enjoys. And then, okay, look at it, right? If you look at it right, it's very heavy. Eh? Not like, the plate heavy. Eh? No bro, the plate quite light. Eh? Because you do a lot of latte. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I took your joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, typically nasi lemak only has like nasi and lemak. lemak. <laughs> <laughs> no, la, nasi, nasi, nasi lemak. Nasi, ikan bilis, sambal and lemak. Chicken. Chicken but, or fish. Uh, chicken your, or fish. Your, your, your protein of choice. Yes, right. But this one, right, it offers more. Yeah, we paid more. So, <laughs> so there's ota, fish cake. What fish is this? I also don't know. <laughs> To be fish, honest. Big fish. Yeah, chicken Get wing, uh, telur, and cucumber. But oh, the, the, the cucumber is actually hidden inside. Fun fact there's one uh, Bonnet Power Nasi Lemak. I stay in Jurong, but there's one that very near my house. And in the same vicinity, like like literally like five minutes drive away, there's another Bonnet Power Nasi Lemak outlet. Hmm? Which is actually tastes better, you know? Tastes better. Uh, both the same. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or rather, let me rephrase this, you know, which okay. actually is more crowded. Uh, the one at Bule. That's the the original outlet. Yeah. It's funny because like at any time of the day when you go to Bule Power and Asilama, it's always crowded. There's always a long queue there. Like it stretches out to the road. Back then when there's only one outlet and people know Bule Power and Asilama through the word of mouth, the opening hours are very erratic. So but right now they are much more established brand. I think their timings are much more consistent. They also have uh, delivery and pickup options. You can order it Ooh. online. If you're not sure what, when are they open, just you can check check it out online to see whether they're open or not. Oh, you can have the end booth. Yeah. Yeah. You can go and like open the window, check. Oi, Kala! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, I love to eat nasi lemak. I eat it every time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. But I think what stands out for Bully Pao nasi lemak is their rice and the sambal. Their rice is a bit, uh, it's much more fragrant with the coconut taste. The sambal it has very, like a spicy sweetness to it. And I think we've all shops that uh, the nasi lemak tastes really good when you buy it and eat it in person at a store. But I guess uh, the hallmark of this uh, Bully Pao, even in like packet, it still tastes good. So, G for breakfast. Yes. Yes. Tuju. Yep, so nasi lemak, as what Sharif said, is a nineteen factor and is Abang Green's preferred breakfast uh, choice. <laughs> if you do not want to have a heavy breakfast and uh, the four of us are uh, clearing, tired, to go back to sleep, supposed yeah. to do work, but I want to sleep. <laughs> uh, we have an option here for you, which is uh, from Tip Top Curry Puff, which originates from Amokyo and they have been open since 1979. So it's mm -hmm. a heritage brand. Let's see if their Curry Puff is Tip Top. Yeah. So Tip Top Curry Puff has expanded away from Curry Puffs. On top of that, they have spring rolls, they have sardine curry puffs. So we're gonna give it a try. 
after I eat breakfast usually, you know, before lunch you still get a little hungry. You know, gemuk life uh. Curry puff was my go-to food and usually the curry puff is to eat, sit around, lip up with my parents, everything. This usually happens on a Sunday morning like generally. And not forgetting the beautiful cup of tea. So guys, I think we have experienced the full-blown uh, taste or the full-blown uh, experience of what a typical Singaporean breakfast looks like. Uh, be it from different races, be it at uh, a different level of intensity, be it a uh, quick bite to a full-blown uh, meal that could last you all the way until late lunch or even dinner. So if we give you the full experience being in our pajamas, being onesie, late night last night, you know, but, uh, what? no, no, oh, 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 oh. house party, house party, oh, house party, house party, uh, how sleep like over. Sleepover. So we wake up together. Okay, hey, guys, let's have a breakfast together. So how about you? If you can have only one dish for breakfast, what? What would that dish be? Uh, so do leave your uh, do leave your answers in the comments down below. Cheers, guys. So I think after the whole meal, we need to just drink tea and just dating like dating is yeah dating yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.